Hey guys, a couple of you have been asking how I make my videos on UK Year We Grow and in today's episode we're going to get right through to that and that's going to be coming right up after this. Now before I go into that there is a bit of a word of caution here okay I filmed a lot of the beginning part of this episode on just a handheld mobile phone so the the video footage is a little bit sort of shaky and and what have you please bear that in mind guys when you're looking at it because all the other equipment was set up to film the worm bin video so uh, just bear that in mind when you're looking at that footage and then a bit later on when we come to the editing side of things then obviously we get back to okay there so uh, without any further ado let's get on with it okay guys so we're in my poly tunnel now and uh, you're gonna have to excuse the noise of people banging and you're gonna have to excuse the state of the poly tunnel because i've been doing all sorts of stuff in here now unfortunately i've just started to film this taking me quite a while to set up and this guy's just started hammering Hopefully that will stop doing the rest of this. So I'm going to take you around the setup guys. Okay, of exactly how I do it. And what this will do, um, we're going to take a look at how I set up to film the worm bin video. Okay. So this is what we have. We've got a Canon G7X on the main tripod here. We have a small... HD camcorder here. You have to excuse me shaking you, but this is not a lot I can do. I'm filming it on a phone. Up there, we have a Zoom H1, which is recording sound as a backup. We have a GoPro there, which is filming down into the bin, and we'll also take um, B roll in the film, it's in the bucket itself. And I'm also using um, my camera on my phone here which is um, a Samsung S8 at the moment that's still on and I'm filming on um, a Samsung Note 3 at the moment so guys that's the setup it's based all around this particular worm bin that we're going to be filming in a moment and, uh, and we'll basically go from there you'll see how the filming goes from the actual episode itself and once we filmed we literally do an introduction we do the body of the of the video and then obviously our ending um you've all seen that before so i'm not going to film doing that but um you've literally seen i'll take some b-roll showing you exactly how that's done so the next step once we have that footage is to then get it into the computer Okay folks, so what I've done here in this folder here, I've literally just created a load of folders, uh, one for the GoPro, one for the HN1, one for the HN4, one for the main camera, one for the mobile, and an unlimited uh, folder three, which will have other footage in, uh, other video footage in for whatever we require. So I've split the footage off to each of these and this just enables me to be able to control what's what when we're in the editing software so i open up the editing software and here i'm using adobe premiere pro cc 2018 and when it gets going Okay, so we've got a new project and we're going to just entitle this project How I Make My YouTube Videos. So it opens up this page here, guys, which is the Premier, uh, Premier Pro CC formatted page. Okay, down here we have our project and here we have our timeline and up here we will have uh, this will be an editing panel and this will be the sequence that we have okay so here now I'm going to import media so right click click on import and I'm going to import the whole folder which is the folder still to edit which contains sorry to edit which contains the GoPro 
uh, H1 main mobile and all of those footages so we're going to import that also we're going to import another folder that I use on the desktop which is one I use for all video files okay this in here has everything else that I, I may need which are like lower thirds it may have the music or um, the ringtones it'll have the um, start introduction thing to the channel and everything else so the first thing I need to do is set up a timeline sequence now because I have various uh, speeds of footage within within this like the main camera is filming at 60 frames a second the mobiles are framing uh, filming at 30 frames a second and so what um, we need to uh, set our timeline to a s sequence so I could go up here and set all that up but I've already done that by using my intro so the first thing I do is drag my intro across onto here and all you will see now is the UK here we grow intro and that is now set up my timeline sequence to 30 frames a second which is what I want it at okay okay so we can shrink that down and now all we do I'm going to get the main footage out of here so drag the main footage out here and we also drag the sound out and what we need to do now is synchronize these so that they work together okay we need to put the timing together so that's what this is doing now at the moment now as you can see if I shrink this down it's moved this video file across here so this is where it's now synchronized to them both so if I'm hey guys right so I'm happy just to cut it there for the moment and just for the sake of this video I'm gonna get rid of all of this stuff okay and I'm going to show you how I deal with this hey guys in this video so if you're listening to that now the sound is quite I'm bad show you how we set up this worm now if I mute the sound that we've added which is on the HN4 and just use the camera sound listen to the difference hey guys in this video I'm going to show you how we set up but we don't want to use that we want to use the sound of the HN and this is why I record it separately Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we set up this worm bin. Now so, I'll let that continue to play now, just so you can hear the difference, and I'll change between the two. So, this is... Hey guys, in this video, the I'm camera. going to show you how we set up this worm bin. Now... Worm bin take two. So, we'll have a couple of takes here. In this video, I'm going to show you how so I this set is up this worm bin. The separate now, voice. Worms are a fantastic resource and that's to the have camera. in the garden. They break down all of your. Now you can see why I now uh, record sound separately to the the camera itself. Listen to the quality of that again. Waste materials into really nice compost, or as you, as most people know it as worm castings. Now this is. So you can see the difference in that, guys. So what we need to do now is unlink that sound from the video and delete it. We no longer require that now because we've used that sound in order to line up the um, recording voice that I've recorded externally. So now we've lined that up. I'm going to drag that up one and I'm going to link these two. So it doesn't matter what I do now, these two are now linked together and they're in time so if I take off the mute I can really bring a guard so we've now brought in this video I'm going to show you how I set up this worm bin now worms are a fantastic resource to have in the garden they break down all so that shows you exactly how to get rid of really poor sound and things like that okay so what we've done here now is we've actually we've come back to the end of the video okay. yeah? visit us on Facebook because we've got loads of stuff going on over there and just as a little bit of an idea I'm currently running a competition for the giant marrow seeds over there just skip across and um, uh, get involved in that as well so say that was the end of the, the, the thing we can just delete these out of the way and now we have our file here and we've got our intro back here so if I right click in this gap and ripple delete that it's now all taken right in look and we've gone straight from our from an in intro and then into hey guys in this video i'm going to show you how we set up 
with decent quality. Now, that transition between the two there is not a great um, a great transition. So what we can do, we can come over to um, effects, come over to video transitions here, and I always use one transition only, and that's this highlighted blue one here, which is cross dissolve. If we drag that onto here, because of the way the video is done, this cross dissolve has only gone onto the end of the intro. So I'm going to expand it by half. And then I'm going to come up here to effect controls and we're going to drag it across so it actually uses part of the both. So now when we look at it, it blends in and out of the control. Hey guys, in this video. And that's essentially what we do with all the different footages. Now we can layer things up. So if I come back to the project folder, we can layer all sorts of things up. We'll add extra video on and cut it in and out as, as we require. But there's one piece here. Let's just sync these up. There's one piece here now that we would like to add at the end, which would be our lower third. Let me have a look. Say I want to put a, a subscribe to YouTube and I can drag that anywhere I like. Say I want to put it here. I want to use this one as we got, so I'm going to shrink that down. Yeah, I'm going to drag it up here, make it bigger. And now, so essentially, now what would happen there is we it would just literally just appear on the screen. Video, I'm going to show. Bump. We we could also use a fade in like we did down here, or you could also animate this by coming up here. Now. We're right at the very beginning of that uh, animation here. So what we need to do is, I'm right as that animation kicks in, right as it kicks in, we need that to be off screen. So we're gonna slide it off the screen there. So that's where the animation kicks in. I'm just gonna come up here and make this a little bit bigger. We might bring it across a few things and then zoom it straight back onto the screen where we want it. So we've now created an animation for that once, once we click a position, okay? So we've got it off screen there. We click a position for the start of this, which is put a keyframe here. We now take it a little way in and we now pull it into exactly where we want it. That's now created another keyframe. So if I pull this off now and we just watch that come into play, in this video I'm going to show you how that's we now just come in and bit. we finish it on the same thing and obviously at the end we would continue to have that going off in the same format the other things that we can add in are um, music let's have a look here where are we sound effects being there being music um, at the moment I'm finishing my videos with all of the same songs that I've been finishing with for a little while which is Happy Mandolin. Now with this I could drag the whole song onto the timeline like this but it's a big song and then I got all of them problems or I can double click it and I can bring it up into this area here which is the effect controller. I know I need it for around 20 seconds so what I can do is make it bigger. I know that's on this first break here. Yeah, so if I bring a line in there, this is where we want it to finish. And then I do a, sorry, correction. I do a, an outro on that. And then we take it back here to do the in. So now when I drag this file onto the timeline, it's much shorter. Yeah, I can just shrink it down. I'm going to show you at the end of this, um, literally just how I do this. Now, if you listen to this, the ending now, I'll shrink this down so you can see. On Facebook, because we've got loads of stuff going on. So as you can see, that music is way too loud. The easiest way of doing that is coming here, Going on to audio gain, and we're going to put a minus 27 decibels in on that because I know that's what works well. Yeah, so now if we listen in, 
because we've got loads of stuff going on over there and just as a little bit of an idea so that's now put the music in the background there guys for the giant marrow seat we could put a fade out at the end or whatever and that's essentially how um i would build up an episode within uk here we grow granted it's a lot more complicated when you've got lots of different things we've used one video file here one sound file you know uh, a subscribe button and a bit of music and all of a sudden that's there but in this particular worm video uh, when you look at it um, they it was made up of something like 12 different video files four different sound files um, and all of the other added bonuses and you had to put in uh, a transition between each and what have you and also we had b-roll to go on top of that as well now if you are adding b-roll i'll put that in just to show you a little bit quick because um with b-roll you have to look at a couple of different things but uh where are we we need to come out to there up to project files so back in your say now say we wanted to oversee that now with this bit of b-roll here so the, we'd get it right grind, um bits of grit and aggregate together to actually break down their food and that's how a worm works and uh, we all know it goes in one end it comes out the other same with any other animal species on the planet so um so there you have it guys the, now there is the footage of me actually setting up now this b-roll doesn't fit the talking but it just say for argument's sake in this section here i was talking about setting up the cameras i could delete that sound altogether so we'd unlink it i delete the sound out of that video so now we've got you've still got me talking castings. but we've got we've the b-roll footage uh, and that's essentially how you build up your your whole video timeline once you've built your timeline and you're happy with it come up here click on file and we export the media and we set it to whatever we like in, in the settings for this particular thing. So we always set it to H.264. Uh, I come down here for the preset and we always put a 1080 HD for YouTube. We would name it here and then we would click Q. It would open up another program then that would then encode this video. And it would encode it then in that format to um, our desktop and then we would upload to YouTube. Now, I'm not gonna insult everybody's intelligence by uploading to YouTube um, and, and dragging you in on that, but for argument's sake, say we were to upload to YouTube, um, we would just literally come here, close that down, click upload. Now, got a couple of upload presets here. I always either go unlisted or shared world if I go shared world I can then put a time in it I want and I literally just drag my file onto here and that's where I would then do all the SEO I would make my thumbnails and everything else that goes with YouTube so guys uh, that's pretty much what it takes to make a UK year we grow video obviously the editing is much 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 more involved than what we've seen there but it's only just a little bit of an idea of how the software the program i use and everything else and i won't insult your intelligence by telling you how to upload to youtube so i hope that was of interest for those of you who have been asking and uh, if you do want to see how um, i upload to youtube and and how i figure out what the best keywords and things like that are to use let me know and i'll do that but it's not really something i tend to use in you know do on this channel this channel's all been about gardening but I thought that this video did sort of come in within that because it did explain on how I get to make a gardening video. Anyway guys, if you haven't already and you're new to this channel, click the subscribe button because that helps us out. And you'll be notified as well if you press the bell icon of when we are uploading new videos. Don't forget, you can uh, visit us at our website and look at our shop and all the products that we've got there as well. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on this one and share this video with all your friends. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.